This is the story of the proposed Afrocentric school. We need to get off our butts and we need to fix it unless what we're trying to do is to create an underclass of black people. The Royal Commission did say we need to be able to deal with that 15 years ago. And most governments would be reluctant to do that. And the Conservative government, of course, certainly was. And the Liberals are reluctant to, to do it as well because they, they're worried that if they agree to it, somehow it, it's an admission of the failure of the system to reach them. I don't want our schools to be Eurocentric, and I don't want them to be Afrocentric, and I don't want them to be Asian-centric, or any other type of centrism. I want our schools to be Canadian. People died for civil rights. People died for segregation. Now you have a loud minority of people from the, quote, black community, unquote, uh, lobbying for uh, Afrocentric or black-focused schools. They're undoing the very purpose of what the civil rights movement was about. schools, you've got private schools, you've got schools for aboriginals. I don't see nobody saying how much that's going to undermine. No, I think it's going to be much, much better. And I'll tell you why, because I think it's going to teach us pride. To not feel welcome and not feel that sense of who you are, that knowledge of self, is really, really degrading. And many, many black children, especially black boys, by grade four or grade three, oh, all that is gone. And I think that is such a loss to society. Mm -hmm.